video, we're going to look at how to do cables. So in our pattern here, we can see we've got two different kinds of cables. We have a right leaning three over three cable, and then we have what looks almost like a braid. And this includes several different kinds of cables, but all of the cables in here are two over two cables. And what that means is that when you have a three over three cable or a four over four or a two over two, that indicates how many stitches in total you're using. So for this one, three over three means that we have six stitches total. And in a two over two, that means you have four stitches total. So let's get into how we actually knit our cables. So I'm going to work across to right here, which is where my first cable is going to take place. Okay, so we are at our first cable of this row, and this is going to be a left-leaning cable with purl stitches. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cable needle, and I like the shepherd's hook, you can also use a straight cable needle. There's lots of different styles. But when you're using this style, slip the stitches with the short end. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slip these two stitches. And because it's a left cable, we're gonna hold them to the front. Now, we have two purls next. So we're gonna go ahead and purl those two stitches, just leaving that cable needle in the front. And then we've got these two knit stitches that we need to work. So you can actually just slide that cable needle down and go ahead and work those two. Okay. So what that did is it took the two purl stitches that had originally been on the left, it put them in the back, and now they're over here on the right-hand side, and these knit stitches are leaning in this direction. Okay, so our next cable is gonna be a right-leaning cable. So you can slip these two purl stitches onto your cable needle, and because it's a right, you're gonna hang it in the back and just allow that to really hang on the back there. And your yarn is gonna be in front of that cable needle. Then you're gonna knit the next two stitches. And now we need to purl these. So we're gonna slide that needle back over. And you can purl those two stitches. So what that done is effectively, you can see how it's brought those two knitted areas together. So now I'm gonna do the next two, but I'm gonna use the yarn in my right hand. Okay, so we're gonna do a left leaning cable with two purls. So we'll slide those two stitches over onto our cable needle holding it in front. And if you're looking for a way to remember, how do I know if I hang it in the front or the back? My little word um, association is, I'll be right back. I left the front door open. So right back, left front. It's just a little easy way to remember. Okay, so now we're gonna purl those two stitches. And we're gonna knit these next two. So we're gonna slide our cable needle down. And if it feels tight, that's okay. Oops, remembering to bring our yarn to the back to knit. Cabling can be kind of tight. You're moving stitches around, asking them to be in a place that they're not naturally. So it can be kind of tight. Okay, so now we're gonna do a right leaning, which means right back. So I'm gonna slide these two stitches over onto my cable needle hold it to the back, and then knit the next two. And bringing the yarn to the front to purl, slide that cable needle down, and go ahead and purl those two 
stitches. Okay, now we're ready to look at our three over three cable, which in this pattern is always right leaning. So we have six knit stitches coming up. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our cable needle. We're gonna slide those three stitches onto it. And because it's a right leaning cable needle, we know we're gonna hang it in the back. We're gonna bring that yarn so that it's in front of that cable needle. We're gonna knit those three stitches. And then we're gonna take that cable needle, slide it down, and knit those. So just make sure that that yarn's in the back there. And you can knit those three. And that creates a right leaning three over three cable. So that is the basics of your cables for this dishcloth.